How a small guard becomes the king of New York in today's video. Hey team, Coach Conley back with another video this week. This week's video is all about the small guards and how to be dominant at the small guard position in a game that's really played a lot above the rim. Leave a comment below on your favorite small guard in the league today. So today's video is a shout out to the small guards and I had a great small guard in my program a number of years ago. Reminds me a lot of Jalen Brunson playing small amongst the trees. And what I loved about him was the same things that I love about Jalen Brunson. His name was Cyrus. Uh, he had a great shot. I always wondered growing up how he would play at the varsity level and, and how he could be super effective. And the skill set that he had growing up and what made him such a good varsity player are the same things that Jalen shows on a daily basis, which has given him the huge contract at New York and where he's putting up huge numbers on a daily basis. Just wanted to break down, Cyrus was a great shooting guard uh, for me. He dominated at the varsity level. He was pretty much unstoppable. And the big reason was of, of the skill set that he had, that he worked on all the time. So the three keys to being a great small guard are one, is having a high motor. That means you're always going hard. Nothing slows you down. Your effort and energy is always the same. Here, Brunson's coming down the court, splits the defense, attacks the rim before any help can come over. Watch here, he comes off, gives up the ball, gets it right back. His energy level never stops. He's just go, 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 get the ball back, attack the basket and get a bucket. You have to be playing hard all the time. Your constant movement, constant effort and energy leads to good things happening on the floor. Anytime as a small guard you slow down, you're allowing bigger, more athletic players to handle you and keep you from your objective. The second key is being super competitive. If you are not competitive, you will not survive. You have to play not only hard and with a lot of energy, but with a no quit attitude. It can't matter if a tall player is guarding you, it can't matter if somebody small and athletic and, and more aggressive than you is guarding you. You have to compete. You compete on every play, through every possession, until you score. You have to be relentless. And that is the only way you can compete at a high level, being an undersized guard. On this play, Jalen is going against one of the best defenders in the NBA. And you can see, he gets it, he lines him up, and he will not be denied. This is a tough ask from any guard, but Jalen takes the challenge head on. He's not passing the ball and he's going to get a bucket. On this clip, you can see the same thing. As he gets ready, he goes downhill as hard as he can. He will not be denied this layup at this time. And I love this play. He has two of the top 75 players of all time guarding him and he will not be denied. He finds a way to get the ball in his right hand over Anthony Davis. That's a tall task for anybody, yet he will not quit. That's the definition of a high competitive player. And lastly, you have to have a high IQ. I know we talk about IQ a lot, but what does it mean? It means you have to understand the game at a high level. You have to not only know your skill set, you have to know what space there is on the floor. And then you have to know how to use your skill set in every possible scenario to get the best results. Watch how he uses multiple skills on this possession to get an easy layup. First, the pump fake, then the pass fake, and then the layup. Three different skills on the same possession. Understanding space is huge and IQ is most of that. Here you can see him come off the screen, read the open space at the elbow, and pull the easy jumper. Here he comes off the high pick. The defender stays back, giving him enough space to shoot the jumper. He doesn't over penetrate because he knows he's not getting by Kawhi Leonard anyway. Taking what the defense gives him and making the right decision. On this play again, high IQ. Has the smaller guard on him, knows he can take him to the basket, uses great footwork to get an easy layup. Having a high IQ means understanding space, knowing where the defenders are, and also having an incredible skill set to choose from to make the right play. Let's see how Jalen breaks down the defense and makes great reads. This first clip, 
He reads the defense from space. As he's walking in, he's reading the defender backing up, giving him wide open space for a jump shot. He doesn't want to attack the basket because the bigger shot blocker has the advantage there. Here's another great IQ decision. Knowing game score and the shot clock is running down, off this catch, he knows he doesn't have much time to get the shot off, catches it, turns, fires, always ready. In this clip again, he knows he has the smaller defender on him. He's not worried about him, but he sees Anthony Davis hanging out at the basket. He uses his body to create separation for the short jump shot. That's a real understanding of the space he needs to get his shot off and the best opportunity for him to score. Watch how he reads this situation against a great defender. He comes off the pick, they get the switch, but he immediately recognizes the open space back to his right. He attacks, but knowing it's a good defender, he gets into his body first, eliminating the defender, and then gets into a short jumper before the help defender comes. It's a great offensive play, and it takes a high level IQ and a lot of skill to perform that. Jalen has earned his spot as the king of New York with his incredible work ethic, high competitiveness, and great skill set. If you wanna be an elite small guard, Make sure you're spending the time in the gym on your skills and really studying the game so you can be most effective in the space and game around you. Shout out again to my boy Cyrus who proved being small is not a problem if you have an incredible skill set. That's it for today's video. Please shout out in the comments your favorite small guard in the NBA now or in the past. And I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. See you next time on Conley Hoops.